Today, we got another money saving meal. We're gonna make a roast pork loin today, and this is gonna save us some money. We're gonna slice this up nice and thin. Perfect for sandwiches, perfect for anything else. Pick this up on sale, take a look at the price. About $7 for this whole roast. We're gonna cook this on the Weber kettle with the Flame Tech grills, smoke and sizzle. But first, we're gonna season this up. We're gonna let it marinate in the fridge for two days. Let that really penetrate. For seasoning today, we've got this Westero rib rub. We're gonna be trying this for the first time. Really excited to give this a try. This is craft made in Texas. Got my Made in America lamps and boning knife here. Gonna get this opened up. I don't think we're gonna even trim this at all, but let's open it up and take a look and see what we got. Trying to open this carefully so we keep the juices in the bag. Actually, there's not much juice to lose anyway. So let's look this over and we'll see what we got all right, so let's look at this together. This looks pretty good. I don't see any real tough silver skin. This fat cap feels nice and soft. When I pick out pork, I always look for one with a nice soft fat cap. And when you are shopping these sales, take your time and pick out the best piece of meat in the store. That's what I did here. Look at that beautiful marbling in this. I got some Reynolds wrap butcher paper down. This is gonna make for easy cleanup. We're just gonna season the meat right on this and roll it up. We're gonna start with the bottom side. We're gonna keep the fat cap up at the end. This with sterile rib rub is a sugar-free rub, which is important to me. I always try to find sugar-free rubs. We're gonna shake this on. It's got a nice smell of paprika. Black. Roll this around, make sure we get all the sides. Got this all wrapped up. This pork loin's been wrapped up, seasoned up with the Westero rib rub for a couple days now, and we're getting ready to light up the grill. But before I do that, I just wanna take a second and talk about this smoke and sizzle from Flame Tech Grills. This here is gonna be comparable to your slow and sear and drip and griddle combo, but at a fraction of the price. I've been using this for several months now, a lot of cooks in the belts. This thing here, look at that, it's almost still shiny, it's solid, it's not warped. This is a really high quality and affordable investment into upgrading your kettle grill. I'll leave a link and discount code down below if you wanna get one for yourself, I highly recommend it. Now, let's fire up this grill. We got some Jealous Devil Max Briquettes, for the Weber kettle. I'm gonna be using the rocket fire torch to light it up today. I'll bring you in, let's check out this grill. First thing we gotta do is get this smoke and sizzle from Flame Tech Grills into the kettle. It's just as simple as dropping it in. Okay, nice half moon shape. What I am gonna do to keep it looking nice and clean is line it in tin foil before I light this grill up. Jealous Devil Max Briquettes. One of the things I love about Jealous Devil products is how easy they are to open. Look at that. Okay. I don't know if you can see in that bag. It's nice and full. Look at the size of these briquettes. Two and a half times the size of your ordinary briquettes, and they burn cleaner without that chemical odor you get from that blue bag. Pour these in. We don't need a lot today. This is gonna to be a relatively quick cook. Okay, so now we got this rocket fire torch. Stick that right in the middle. This will only take probably about 30 to 45 seconds. We'll have enough going to heat this up. We're gonna be shooting today for a grill temperature of somewhere around 300 degrees because I do wanna get some nice crisp on that pork fat. But I've said this before, I'll say it again. With charcoal, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. And whatever temperature your grill wants to run at, you adjust your cook to that. So I'll check back when it's time to get the meat on. Hey, let's get this pork loin unwrapped. This is like unwrapping a Christmas present. I haven't looked at this in two days. Looks pretty good to me. Look at that. All right, I got a small piece of oak wood. We're gonna put this on the kettle with this, cook it indirect. I'll show you exactly my setup here in just a second. But before I put it on, we're gonna make sure we keep a close eye on the internal temperature of this pork loin, which is critical. I like to pull mine at 138 degrees. Pork should be a little bit pink. For that job, I've got the Inkbird wireless Bluetooth thermometer. I'm gonna just insert this all the way in, get it right in the center. This will monitor not only the internal temperature of the meat, but the grill temperature as well.
Okay, looks like this grill is settling in now. Almost at 300 degrees, according to the app. Show you why you gotta have a good grill thermometer on these Weber kettles, because they put the thermometer in the wrong place. So like I said, so this top one here is open a quarter. And the bottom one here is set to, I think that's all the way open. I'll go ahead and close this down a little bit as well. Temperature did start to actually drop on me after I closed those vents. I opened them all the way back up. Meat's sitting around 175 degrees. We're just gonna rotate here quickly. Make sure that fat cap cooks evenly. It is about 40 and pretty windy out today, so we're gonna keep this fire ramped up because I do wanna cook at a little bit higher temperature. I'll let you know if we make any other adjustments. Otherwise, we'll see you when it's done. Can you see that beautiful color on this pork loin? Wow. Sitting at 138, we're gonna get this off. But I want to show you how good the Flame Tech Grill's smoke and sizzle did. Look at all that grease down there in the bottom. Without this, that would have been in the bottom of your grill, and you could be running the risk of having a grease fire. Plenty of charcoal left. We'll get this grill closed down and save the rest of those Jealous Devil Max briquettes for the next cook. Look at that. Going to let this rest on the cutting board for a minute or two. Let a little bit of that heat out, and then we'll cover it with some foil. Let it rest for about a total of 20 minutes before we slice into it. Let all those juices redistribute. Oh, man, it looks so good though. I can't wait. Pork loin's been resting. Let's go ahead and get it unwrapped and see what we got. Man, look at the juice coming out of here. I can't wait to try this. See that bark? Pull this Inkbird wireless thermometer out. Let's cut it right down the middle and see what we got. Looks nice to me. Super juicy. Got a nice slice. I if you can see that in the camera. This thing is dripping, it's so juicy. Pork loin's got a really nice flavor. This with sterile rib rub is really nice. It's not overly spicy. Got some great flavor. I'm gonna go slice this up for the kids now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you also head to Instagram at RustyBBQLamb. Posting daily content over there. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.